So a whole lot of shopping going on right there. A boutique in Old Town East selling merchandise and giving out some hope. A whole lot of hope. This place opened last summer during the pandemic when a lot of brick and mortars were shutting down. The owner came up with an interesting concept that allows local artists and designers to come in and sell their goods, their stuff, by just renting out one of the racks. There's something for everybody. So we have some vintage here, some vintage designer bags, blouses and belts, jeans and jewelry. If you're looking for it, you just might find it here all under one roof. We wanted to have every rack be somebody different so that we had you come in one door and you have the opportunity to shop with multiple local vendors and designers. House full opened last summer in Old Town East and in the middle of a pandemic. It's full of items and clothes made by some of the top creatives and designers in the city. And yes, even these gold armoires are for sale. That's what's special about vintage high end because they're one of a kind pieces and people that have the love for vintage and can seek out those one of a kind pieces. And that's what I love about vintage because it's one of a kind. Every piece is curated, pre-loved. Bianca Deloach was only selling her vintage items on Instagram, and that's what most of the vendors are doing. But this concept of renting a rack or space gives struggling artists their very own storefront. So when you come together as a group in a community, it's you feel like a sense of ownership, like I have a storefront and this is my store as well. So it gives everybody that that entrepreneur ownership feeling. There are five different vendors in the shop. Rent is based on the space or racks that you have and the items that you're trying to sell. The owner of Houseful says she gets it. Times are tough and a lot of creatives may not be able to pay rent. And for that, she says she is willing to work with them. If we have room in here for you, we'll figure out how to make it work. And talk about making it work. Something else that she throws out is that, you know what? It's not just about renting a rack there. Something else that she's doing. She is actually letting people rent out the space there because a lot of people stop eyeballing. <laughs> a lot of people looking for a place to have a party or something. She rents, opens the doors and rents out that space. I just noticed and you look like you have something new on. <laughs> Did you do a little shopping? So that was a great day yesterday because I can hashtag <laughs> shop and work at the same time. Mm -hmm. I got this sweater there for about $29. Nice. It's vintage. Great, great stuff there. There. So that's going to be one of my favorite spots now in Central Ohio. I, I love the idea, uh, and it's worked for a lot. Of, <laughs> they don't have men stuff. It's though. working for you. <laughs> so did you guys, you guys plan this green thing? No, this she just, just happened. She called me while she was out shopping for her sweaters. <laughs> hey, like Brad, okay, green. stop, stop saying shopping. The boss is listening. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, you guys didn't let me get in on this. Well, I can't anyway. I can't wear green. You can't You're, wear green. You disappear. Yeah, you, did you have a mustache tie in green? No, I actually got this tie because uh, Oakley loves little mustaches, and I thought. <laughs> you would find it funny. Yes, I bought